Hello everyone, it's Cody Soltis again with ConsciousLove.org here for your weekly Angel Oracle card reading and energy forecast for the week of August 10th to August 16th, Monday to a Sunday. This week I will be using two decks, might switch them up, I don't know. Um, the first is my recent most favorite, it's called Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed um, after I stumbled upon, I've seen these before, and I never really bought them, but I stumbled upon a video from Colette Baron reed on YouTube, and she's just an amazing medium, so then I had to go get one, and when I realized these were hers, I got this one, and I have to say, I love it. <laughs> it's unique, it's Tarot-esque in that there's all these different characters, but it's it really speaks to me and I really, really love it. So if you're into something a little different than a, a normal Oracle deck, I think this would be a phenomenal choice. Um, in addition to that, maybe I'll pick one card, maybe I'll do what I did last time and mix them up, who knows. I'm also using the Indigo Angel Oracle cards from both Doreen Virtue and Charles Virtue, her son. Um, and I love this one as well. Um, I really resonate with the simpler, you know, one or two words on a card oracle decks, not the ones with big paragraphs. Um, that allows me to really focus on just the message streaming into me, not the message on the piece of paper. Uh, yeah, because again, the magic is happening inside of you, it's not in these pieces of paper. Um, so, but they're still fantastic tools, I'm still using them because they help bridge the gap, and after a couple years of using them, like you use guidebooks less, you use your brain less, and you just really focus on being present and getting the messages. So, f before we begin, I want to say thank you guys so much for your support. I put videos up <laughs> yesterday and I already have some emails of people who want their free readings so good job guys you'll be getting those um I only have 12 subscribers but I was jumping for joy I have 12 subscribers <laughs> um because it's just neat how I didn't know how long it would take for get to get people to start watching so thank you guys for subscribing um if you're new to this channel please like share and subscribe if you do <laughs> enjoy again i'm really urging you guys too if you want give me some feedback write some information down in the comments below um let me know what you're thinking help me improve <laughs> in the same sense but in any way that you show your love and support no i'm feeling it okay thank you guys so much i am jazzed this week and I can't wait to see what what energies are coming up for us this week. So let's get into it. Hello, LGBT community and their allies. This is your weekly queer spirit guidance message. And again, Archangel Michael really wanted to be helping you guys right now. He's a big proponent of um, helping people f remember their strength and feel strong again and doing the tough love things like letting go of those negative people in your life and making the tough choices and feeling secure and protected and strong. And please know that you have the righteous sword of Archangel Michael on your side this week. You really do. So I have some cards in my hands and I'm kind of just holding them up because they nice touch points to be talking about. Because I did the reading yesterday, I picked up the same cards. They said it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes they say, you know, pick new ones. Sometimes they say, no, it's good. I just had technological issues, okay? Um, and it got, I put it on my cell phone and it was not translated to my computer. So I'm doing it again the day after with my real camera so you guys can actually get the message, which is why my, all my videos are late a day. I'll get the hang of this soon. <laughs> so. We have an emotional week, and I'm sending this has to do with a lot of people who either are young and just coming out of the closet still, or older people but who are still dealing with, you know, the repercussions of that life, or still have that habit of being too emotional and not expressing things and not dealing with things appropriately. So we have a lot of emotional energy inside of us this week, we do. And it's difficult for us to be knowing what direction to be going because of all this energy within our heart chakras that are just confusing us and kind of breaking our hearts, really. Uh, we're terrified for some reason. I'm, I'm getting a sense that some of you will be coming out to your parents. Some of you are dealing with relationship issues where you, you're afraid that they're going to leave you. It has to do with a lot with, you know, feeling abandoned. I, 
can feel that. And that's a big thing with the queer community is that, you know, we think that everyone's going to abandon us because we were told even God abandoned us already. And that is not true, which is why one of God's right hand then is here again. And this is much more emotional than it was yesterday. Wow. You need to be honoring and trusting your feelings and your intuitions about this situation. And I'm going to read this prayer. Normally I skip over the prayers because I don't like the long things, but this is important for you guys to hear. Here's a prayer for you to be doing. <laughs> Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. It's really hard for us to be saying what we need to say in divine truth. To either say, hey mom, dad, I'm gay, or hey mom, dad, I'm trans, or whatever it may be. <sighs> or to be, yeah telling a difficult truth to someone you really love, a, a friend. Maybe you're dating someone who doesn't know that you're trans or that you're bisexual even though like it's important to you, even though that you're in one kind of relationship. It's important for you to be authentically you. But we're getting scared right now. Even though we have all these wonderful things happening in America today, we, we still have the fears to deal with. We, we deal with a lot of psychic attack from you know other people on this planet. And it's sometimes it's hard to shield that. And that sometimes really shapes our reality because we internalize it. So I'm asking you, and Archangel Michael is asking you to really pray this week with whoever it is that you need to pray with, be it someone in the non-physical who passed away, be it God, be it your guardian angel, be it whoever. Talk to someone spiritually. Have that moment to be by yourself and cry. <laughs> and to feel connected. That you know God is not forsaking you that the angels are on your side, that they're fighting with you, not against you. Okay. Dear God and Archangel Michael and anyone else to whom you pray, such as Jesus, I ask for your divine intervention and describe the situation of which you want help with. I welcome your help and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and I ask that you send one to me and the situation quickly. Thank you, Anna, and on that. Angels in a higher reality God can only help you if you give divine permission. So if you're unwilling for outside help, like they won't do anything until you give them permission. And now, that was the one thing that Angel Michael said that you either are doing or should be doing. There's another thing that he really wants you to be aware of. And that's because you don't think that love will ever come your way. That you'll always be alone in this world. That you will never find love. And I'm sorry if the wind blowing is making the audio weird, but that you'll never find love or that you'll never find happiness. And he wants you to know that truly, 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 truly romance angels, relationship angels are helping you with this situation. And again, I want it's important for you to know this prayer. Because even though you feel that love is not coming your way yet, God wants you to know that it will come in divine and perfect timing. If it's not here right now, it's because you're not meant for it right now. Because you have to do that inner work stuff first. You trust me. It's better to be alone than to... Okay, that's my opinion. Sometimes we have... Like, I, God led me to someone who was a reflection of me at that time. And... You know, then you learn the hard way that you're trying to get love from someone else instead of having love within you already. And God and the universe really want you to have a bountiful, loving relationship. Not one where you're both stealing from each other because you don't have any love for yourselves. Okay? If you're ever brought to something like that, it's okay. Maybe that's what you have to talk about this week. It's okay to know that, you know what, I can't deal with your issues and your drama because I'm dying inside a little bit. This is a very dramatic reading, apparently. But, you know, sometimes they can't give you what you need because you need to be giving it to yourself. Okay? So, if you want love to be coming your way, and your angels tell you that it's not quite time yet, here's a prayer to help you have a little bit of faith and patience, okay? Dear guardian angel of my soulmate, and remember you have many soulmates, not just one. We're all soulmates together. You and I are soulmates, which is why you've been attracted to this video, okay? Thank you for preparing my soulmate and myself for love. 
for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes, like what you're doing this week, and for arranging for us to meet in divine and perfect timing, okay? <laughs> Thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into the truly intimate relationship. It will come when necessary, okay? It will come when you need it. If you don't have it now, guess what? You don't need it. <laughs> you don't need it because you were strong. One thing Archangel, just, Archangel Michael and God and Source do not want you to be doing this week is having a pessimistic negative um, <laughs> expectations for the outcome. Remember that your thoughts create your reality, or at least create your perception of the reality around us. So no, no, with your heart and soul and mind, 110% that there is a favorable outcome. It may not be what you're wanting with your ego mind right now to happen, but trust and have divine faith that there is the best situation the best resolution to this issue for everyone involved, okay? Trust that that's happening. <sighs> Trust that it will be a balanced, equal exchange and that, you know, it'll all be okay. So here's your prayer again. I'm giving you lots of prayer this week because you need to be praying, they said. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you. God and Archangel Michael for helping me trust and have faith, which I know is very difficult, but you can do it. This whole spiritual lesson revolves around your need for self-respect. You've been listening to the lies that people have been saying about you and to you, and it's diminishing your self-worth for yourself. Again, self-worth. No one can take that away from you unless you allow them. So this whole thing, as painful as it is, has to resolve itself so that you may <laughs> reclaim your esteem, reclaim, re reclaim your self-value, okay? So here's another prayer, please do it. Dear God and the angels, thank you for helping me to see myself as you see me, through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. And that's what needs to be happening this week. If you're an earth sign, go check that video because this seems like a total event to be letting go of those toxic relationships and to be drawing in positive ones. This will not be easy to do at first either. And we're not saying that it's this easy to just decide to do this. But when you feel energetically ready to do this, realize that you have the decision-making ability to be happy. Okay? It's not always that easy to just decide to be happy. Oh, okay. And be delusional. Get that energy out. Give yourself permission to cry. You're so strong when you're vulnerable. Trust me, it's like going into a battle naked. Like... <laughs> I would not want to mess with someone who has no armor on and who's still fighting. You know how crazy Kuala makes you? Like, you're tough if you have emotions. Okay? This, this earth plane has been taught some wrong things about emotions. And it's up for us to be, you know, transforming the planet with that respect. So, here's another prayer. Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. Once you get to that place, again, you're not going to be able to do it right away. You get to make the decision to start seeing the love that's around you. Okay. So two more things. Again, really driving home the talk to Archangel Michael. He's going to help you with this. <laughs> Pray to whoever you need, but he really wants you to say, talk to him too. He is jumping out to be with these queer spirit guidances things. So that's amazing. He wants to help you. He wants to empower you. He wants you to feel the grace of God. He wants you to He wants to help you cut those negative cords of attachment to all the lies and illusions that people have taught you over your lifetime. He wants to help transform you into the, being the best divine <laughs> soldier of God, I'll say. He wants you to be a teacher on this planet. You are here to teach and learn the lesson of divine, unconditional, infinite, bountiful love. Okay? 
and you're going to be successful, he's saying, so trust that. It's coming. Talk with him to get more details, okay? Um, but trust, as they say on those campaigns, it gets better. Whether you're in the closet or not, life just gets better, okay? Trust that it does. And the last thing for you guys who are really fearing for your environments if you step up and speak truthfully and to make these changes, know that your home is protected by the angels. Trust that if you come out, you're safe, okay? You don't have to be afraid. And know that if you break up with that person, you're safe. You're not going to get hurt. Or if anything does happen like that, trust that it's for a divine, imperfect reason. If there is violence or whatever, I know it's one of those hard things to accept about our world. It's so strange. But I don't want to lie and, and just put words in God's mouth about why bad things happen to us. But I know and I believe that even though I don't understand it, there's a reason behind it. And I'm given things I can handle. So the people going through the worst sugar honey iced tea right now are the ones who are really the ones who are strong enough to handle it. Believe that. Believe that, believe that, believe that you were... Sh if you were given this, and you were meant for this, you're tough enough, okay? You are tough enough. You think you're weak, but oh my god, I see your light. You're... If only you could see how amazing you are. See yourself through the eyes of love. Pray to Archangel Michael and to God and to Source or whoever it is that you pray and ask them to help you to see yourself through the divine eyes of love. That's the most important thing in the situation. If you do nothing else and get nothing else spiritually accomplished this week, pray and meditate on that. To start seeing yourself through the eyes of <laughs> divine, infinite love and see how perfect you are just the way that you are. Okay. I didn't know I had this much love to give, but guys, I'm giving it to you guys. I love you so much. Okay, I've been there. I, I'm not gonna say we had the same situations. Everyone's life is unique. But I love you. Okay, I'm, gonna give, I'm trying to give you the love that you don't have for yourself in hopes that you use it to spark up to kickstart your own love generator for yourself, okay? Not to be the new source of your self-love. Mm -mm. I love you guys, I love you guys, I love you guys so much. You were love beyond <laughs> comprehension. <laughs> it's hard for you to believe that, I know. From all the hate and the lies that have been spoken to you throughout your life. But, oh my god. <sighs> the universe weeps with you when you weep, okay? How many angels really love you? And they don't want to see you in pain, and it, it hurts them too. But trust that everything is energetically necessary. We are here to heal this planet. And someday this will, this will be a thing of the past. Believe it. We're strong spiritual troopers, okay? I love you guys. Oh my god, I love you guys. I can... <sighs> I want to stop. I never want to stop because I just want to sit here and just be like, oh, love, to the camera, to your computer screen, into your face. <laughs> I love you guys, so please, share the love. <laughs> Feel the love, okay? Um, I'm not going to say, if you want to, you can comment down below or whatever, but mm, it's about me giving you love, not you giving me any, so... I don't want to say goodbye, but I hope you guys have a fabulous week. Hang in there. If you need help, I'm here for you. Make it, write a comment, write me an email. It doesn't even have to be a reading. And again, I, I can just be a friend who gives random attached advice. You know, not a business, just <laughs> person, person, soul to soul. Heart to heart conversation. Can do that. Join the Facebook group, Twitter feed, maybe meet people who are in the same situation. You'll never know if you don't try. Okay. But yeah, if not, there's other people around you. The angels are around you giving you all their blessings. And again, there's an airplane or something making noise. <laughs> so until you can't hear me anymore, I guess I'll end the video. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Namaste. As I broke my camera. <laughs>